Hi everyone, it's a lovely sunny day here so I thought I would show you what we've been doing for Sheldon's enclosure. So we've been meaning to build her an outside enclosure for a really long time and we finally got round to it, haven't we mate? Because she's just been out in a run really, which isn't ideal. What is it? What have you got in your mouth? Hey? You're naughty. Benji's been helping me weed. There we go. It's a very good boy. <laughs> So this is her enclosure. Ta -da! So she can only go out in it in the day at the moment or when we're around to sort of keep an eye on her because it's not got a top on it. So I don't know whether we're going to have make sort of a top out of chicken wire and wood or if we're going to have some like netting or something over it, just something to stop, I don't know, what getting in, birds or um, we have had rabbits hopping in in the night and eating all the dandelions which is <laughs> not ideal so we've planted this up with tortoise safe plants and weeds here it's enclosed with a big thick bit of slate and then we've got some granite ends here and then we've built up this wall here and then there's a bit of slate that side as well so we'll start in this corner here so we've got this big rock which she's already uh, been digging under We've got a dandelion here. We've planted loads of dandelions in here, but they don't actually like being transplanted that much. They grow everywhere you don't want them, and then when you try and put them where you do want them, they don't want to grow, <laughs> which is typical. So we've got dandelion here, and another one here. There's my shadow, um, but there's another one growing in the corner. She's got, we're using this for a water bowl, because we've been really struggling to find something shallow enough. Um, this is sort of to put a plant pot in, um, so it's like the tray for underneath the plant pot. So we've put that in there with loads of rocks so she can get out and in very easily. Yeah, so she hasn't found that yet, but I'm sure she will. So we've got some pansies, which are tortoise safe, some wild strawberries, which again I've transplanted. There's a load down here and they do really well here, but again, they're sort of shriveling, shriveling up in here. So I've had to water them quite a lot. We've got some various types of grass in here, which I've just dug up and moved. So hopefully that will take there. Um, these are just some bits I picked for her. Um, so <laughs> there's some goose grass and some more dandelions and stuff, um, just as a little extra. So it's got pansies all along the front here, which I thought would look quite pretty, and the tortoise safe as well. And then in the top of here, I've planted a load of wild strawberries as well which will hopefully make this wall look a little bit prettier as well and it's safe for her if she decided to somehow eat them or if they sort of move downwards then you know they're tortoise safe. These are a couple of bits of driftwood that we've picked up on the beach which I thought would add some extra textures and environments for her um, things for her to hide under. So we've got some more pansies. Um, I bought sort of a multi-pack so there's, there's loads of pansies and there's some along the back there um, and some nasturtiums which again she can eat and these are a climbing variety so hope they'll, hopefully they'll climb up this wall here which can look quite pretty. There's another rock there, there's Sheldon attacking another dandelion which isn't doing particularly well over there <laughs> and there is another bit of driftwood and then this we've made her a little hide out of um, there's two bricks either side and then a big piece of slate on top so there's a nice big area that she can go in and hide under there and another rock in the corner there with some more um, pansies and wild strawberries hello <laughs> uh, so it's not finished yet and there's loads of stuff we're gonna add but I thought I'd show you it at the moment and the rest of this is just sort of topsoil um, and she's got a big slate up there which she can sit on as well and bask on so she spent quite a lot of time up there today basking which has been really nice um, and there's a couple more little areas she can hide but I think we're going to add a couple of plant pots and things for her to hide in as well just so she's got plenty of areas to sort of get away from the sun if she wants to so there she is, she's a little bit muddy but she's looking very very happy with herself And having a go at that pansy there. <laughs> so 
So when some more weeds come up as well, um, I'm going to transplant a load. So a lot of the weeds still aren't up um, because plantain, I'm hoping to, we normally get loads in the field, so I'm hoping to dig that up and put a load of that in here because that's a really good um, sort of plant that they can eat on like a daily basis. It's, it's something that they can't eat too much of. Whereas a lot of these things are sort of in moderation. She's meant to be eating them. Yeah, is that Sheldon? Moderation. <laughs> so yeah, there's an overview of her enclosure. So it's quite big. I don't know what sort of size it is. I'm guessing it's sort of three feet by six feet, maybe. Something like that. But she's only that big so she's got plenty of room in here as well so yeah hopefully over the next sort of few weeks it'll become a bit more established and we'll get some more plants in there but I'm just pleased to get, be able to get her out in somewhere on nice days rather than just in a run um, on the grass which isn't ideal obviously I put slates and, and hides and things in there so she wasn't having to be on the grass all the time because if they're sort of on damp ground all the time it can cause shell rot which I was a bit worried about so very pleased to get her in here and obviously there's sort of damper areas and drier areas and yeah she looks very very happy <laughs> so there we go so you do need to be really careful if you're buying plants from garden centres because obviously they treat them with fertilisers and pesticides and things which can be really dangerous if not fatal to your tortoise so these I bought a long long time ago because you're only allowed to feed new um, shoots so I've managed to keep these alive which is quite impressive for me um, but yeah there she is and I've also got oh. Oh, there we go. I've also bought this plant here, which is a um, hibiscus tree, which obviously I'll be able to feed her the flowers from that. It's a tri-coloured hibiscus. Um, so when I bought it, it was just twiggy, um, but it's all these are new shoots, so it's doing really well here. It's sort of partly in the shade, partly in the sun. And um, yeah, like I say, it's tri-coloured, so they've grafted on three different colours of hibiscus. So it should be, I think it's pink, purple and blue, which would be really nice. It'll be visually nice for Sheldon as well. So I've just got that here by our front door in this pot, which I got from Trago, which is really, really pretty. So I'm quite excited about when that starts to flower and feeding her that as well. And the best thing is I can see, this is my front door. I can see her. Yay. <laughs>